There it is. Okay, today we're going to uh, we're gonna make some coin holders. A fella call up, he says, hey, look, I can't afford these these flips. You know, you put the coins in these flips. They're great. They really work. They're wonderful. But, uh, well, sometimes people can't afford the darn things. They want to get collecting. And rather keep, than keep their coins in a, in a can or keep their coins in a, you know, a box or, you know, Ziploc bag, uh, you can make your own coin holder. <coughs> now I got a, a video uh, where we made a box, right, out of a post office box. Real simple. Uh, we're we're also live, so uh, I got cheap skate coins over here. Uh, you got some stuff in the mail, by the way. And uh, we're gonna just make a uh, little template here and make our own coin holders. It didn't cost nothing. All right. Measurements: you got four inches, one inch, one. Two, one, real simple, four inches by five inches. We're going to cut out the corners and we're going to fold it up. Now I'll get those measurements to you. But a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, a ruler, there's tape here somewhere. There it is. A piece of tape. Okay, let's cut. They're not going to be uh, superior quality, but they can get you by. That's the that's thing. Now, when I was 12 years old, that's what you're looking at, you know, you're four inches wide, five inches across. Now we're going to cut out two by one on each side, one by one up at the top. Now, when I was 12, you know, geez, I didn't have a whole lot of money, you know. I shoveled some snow for an old lady named Mrs. Fennel. She gave me cookies. Well, hey, the cookies were good. No question about that. She was a sweetheart. And I got a little older, I started shoveling snow for uh, Mrs. Minsky and her son, Mr. Minsky, he paid, which is real nice. He was a lawyer. I told my mother I'm a lawyer. I couldn't tell her the truth. I'm working in construction, Ma. No, I'm going to break her heart. Okay. Well, it depends on how good your dexterity is, because mine kind of sucks. There we go. We're just going to make a little cross here. It's like origami for coins. But if you, you know, you don't have an income and you want to save the coins and organize them neatly, this comes in handy. Okay, now we're going to fold it. Top comes down. There you go, just like that. This side goes up, just like that. And these two pieces come over. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the right shape. Right now we're just getting the shape right. Okay. There's a piece you cut out. All right? I want the, the long one here. I want these two coming in. Now, give me a piece of tape. These two come together, and that's where I want the tape. Just like that. Okay, take my penny. Well, in this case, I got a, a buffalo nickel. Right? I drop it in. Fold the top over. I got my coin nice and neat. And it's own little holder. Um, real simple, real cheap. You can write on it. 1936. Well, take the coin out so you're not writing on the coin. That's a 1936 Buffalo nickel. And, uh, probably very good. And that's it. And then your coin, you can put in your storage box. Nice and neat. And you got that's it now yeah, we can we can do more okay rather than take the time to draw this thing out every single time oh this is the piece that got cut out and right, there's a two little corners the two bottoms you can make a template so we got this a piece of cardboard okay you're four inches across you're five inches high All right this line is at two inches is that right? Two, four. Yeah, this this number should be two. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that line is two inches. This line is two inches. That top line is one more inch. Going left to right, that's an inch. That's two inches. And that's one inch. And all you got to do is cut that out and then trace around it. Now, if you're going to cut, I recommend you use a, a cutting board. In this case, I'll use a... Uh, a piece of cardboard. All right. 
I got a razor. And where the X's are, I'm just cutting out the four corners. That's all it is. This is my flap that I fold over. This is the two sides that come together. And that's the bottom piece that folds up to make the, the envelope hole. And it ain't got to be perfect. It just has to be good enough. I mean, you're making something that's just uh, going to get you by until you, you, know, you grow up and get a job and you can afford to get all your coins slabbed. But for now, we'll just look for a way to store your coins real cheap. And I got these holders, and they're wonderful. All right? They're eight bucks a hundred plus the shipping. And they're just for everything you want. Okay, we're going to cut this out here. And a pair of scissors will probably get you by. If you're uh, under 18, have your parents do this for you. Yeah. Because I can't tell somebody who's 17.9 years old to pick up a knife. They might get cut and then... Oh, jeez. Then that lawyer I told my mother I was, I'll be calling him. And I think we're almost there. You can do this with scissors, by the way. But, yeah, you know, you might gnarl up your piece. It's not all that accurate. There you go, a little jagged. I'll just go over it with the, with the knife here. Yeah. Do I need a disclaimer to say, have your parents do this for you? Oh, look, there's people here. A scale. Let's see who's talking. You get coin dragons in the house. And use a blade to cut more than one sheet of paper at a time. You can do that. There we go. I'm just going to cut this out. That's it. Take the corners off. Okay. Done. That's as good as it's got to be. Get rid of this mess. And grab another piece of paper. Oh, here it is. Oops, I just screwed up my uh, computer here. Let me find it so I can see what people are saying. I remember these in my IQ test. I never had an IQ test. Okay. I'm going to put that down on your piece of paper. Any old piece will do. All right, we're just going to trace around it. That about it? Ta-da! You got this. Cut it. Now you can usually, if you have a razor blade and an, an apparent to, to use it, that'd be, you know, fairly fast and fairly accurate. It's probably easier than a pair of scissors. They make holders for these things so you don't cut your cut yourself. But I like to live dangerously. There you go. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough. What are, you, what are you talking? A piece of paper? You get four of them out of a piece of paper. You probably cut them a little bit smaller. But two inches by two inches is what we're going to end up with. Yeah, you can cut them really any way you want. They got that metric system you could use. You know, cut it one kilometer by one kilometer. You need a big piece of paper, though. There's your piece, right? Fold it at the, you know, where the edges are. That one's going to fold up. This one's going to fold down. If I can get my finger under it. That one's going to fold over and be the side. And that's going to be your other side. Right about like this. Okay, I guess I ain't gonna be perfect. Okay, we get the long one first. Then bring your two little ones in. And you can give it a crease if you like. You can ink stamp them, you can write on them. They do pretty much anything you want. That tape right across where the two come together. Find a coin. <coughs> what do we got here? It's a uh, 64 Kennedy half dollar. And drop it right in. If it's you know, anything two inches. 
it'll fit the biggest silver dollars it'll fit uh, whatever you like we got it uh, two by two and drop it in your box that's it cheap and easy any questions let's look over in chat then you use the blade to cut more than one sheet of paper. Yes, you can do that. You can stack up several pieces, outline at once, and cut through a bunch. And, uh, well, it's a handy way to save money, get some utility out of a piece of paper, so you can uh, expand your collection, store it neatly, store it well. They're fairly consistent. They won't be perfect unless you're really uptight about the way you cut it. And that's it. If you want to get it out, see the little flap keeps a, keeps a thing from from falling out. Without that flap, your coin can fall out. Okay, we'll just use that end up. All right. You get the whole sheet folded all the way up, so you got a, a full sheet on you know that side, a full sheet on this side. Uh, where they come together, they're not rubbing on the coin because you got full sheets and pieces. And that's it. Good luck. Thank you. That's all I got for tonight.